guys welcome back to my channel it is springtime finally I am loving the beautiful weather outside um, but for today I wanted to make a video on how I organize my closet since we've moved into the house I haven't really found a system yet so I want to collect all my clothes today um, just go through them, edit out what I don't wear anymore, organize it, use some tips and tricks I've seen all over the internet to organize my closet and to find everything when I'm looking for an outfit. I hope you guys will tag along and maybe I can give you some inspiration to organize your own closet as well. Let's do this! I start by collecting all my clothes from all over the house. Clean clothes from my closet, but also laundry and stuff. I collect it all onto the bed into one big pile so I get a good overview of what I have. Okay, so quick break. I put all of my clothes on the bed and I have definitely way more clothes than I thought. <laughs> I always think that I'm such a minimalist, but in reality, um, I'm not. But I'm trying and that's what counts. So I'm gonna go through these, uh, see what I would like to edit out. I do think it's a little bit more difficult now with COVID because usually I have a rule of thumb where I say, if I haven't worn it in the last year, I will get rid of it. But now with COVID, a lot of events haven't been happening, so I haven't been able to wear a lot of my clothes. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more gray in my decision process, but that's okay. I'll just go through them and we'll see. So while I am sorting through these clothes and trying to edit some out, I am also dividing them in summer and winter. So I have a stack over here with all my winter clothes that I won't be wearing in summer and I will put those in storage. And the summer clothes I'm going to be hanging back in my closet piece by piece. So I've gone through all of my dresses. So I will be able to put these back already and then we'll have some more space to work with this. I try to organize my clothes by color, so I go from white to black and everything in between. If possible, I also try to get an order in the length of my sleeves, if that makes sense. So I'll put short sleeves first and then long sleeves behind them.
our project is starting to get a form. I've edited almost all my clothes, um, but now I need a snack. So, quick interruption. I have divided my sweaters into casual sweaters and workout sweaters because I have these sweaters that I like to wear when I go to the gym or come back from the gym uh, but I don't really wear them on a day-to-day -day basis so I wanted to put those in my sports drawer but now I have to figure out a way how I'm gonna put them in the sports drawer because like this they are too wide so maybe I was thinking I could fold and stack them. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out a way. So I found a way to stack them. I folded them, like this one I folded in two, this one in three, also in three, and then I can just stack them behind each other. And the door looks pretty nice. So this is chill clothing, like joggers, shorts, like just to relax in. These are my sports leggings and my sports bras, and then the sweaters. show you guys how I fold t-shirts. This is the most basic approach. I use the Marie Kondo method um, but you can check out other videos which I'll link down below to know how you have to fold tops and skirts and trousers and stuff but I'm gonna show you the t-shirt one. So let me see if you can see it properly. Yes. So you put it flat, the neck is here and the bottom is here. Then you just fold it like a normal t-shirt in three vertically, like this. Then you fold it in two. And because this is a cropped t-shirt, I'll fold it in two again. If it is a longer t-shirt, I will fold it in three. And this way you get this little package and you can put it in a drawer like this and it won't get wrinkled because there is no pressure on the t-shirt. It will just be resting in your closet like this. It is a very gentle way to store your clothing. Love the Marie Kondo method. If you haven't heard of it before, check the link down below. As you can see, I use this method for all of my tops, t-shirts, they are laying very relaxed in my drawer and I don't have any wrinkles when I take one out. You can just take out the one that you need and um, the rest will hopefully <laughs> stay in place. I also do this with my jeans, um, I'll show you how I fold those. So for the jeans, I'll show you how I fold these. I took the black one because it's hopefully clear to see. You fold them in two vertically. So here is the top and here is the bottom. Then you fold them into horizontally. I'll put it like this. 
then you fold those in three and then you get this package that stands on its own you can just put it in the drawer with your other jeans and it will stay like this another organization hack are these baskets that you get your socks in so when you buy socks they come in these uh, boxes I recycle them these are from happy socks so they have a very happy colorful look I use these for organizing bralettes or belts or for my husband I use these for his ties and bow ties or his swimming shorts so whatever small paraphernalia you have in your closet you can store in these baskets okay so the bed is empty again but don't be fooled because we have a lot to put in storage. So this is all my winter clothes, winter PJs, sweaters, everything that I'm gonna put in storage for next winter. And then over here we have a basket with everything that I'm going to donate. Like a jeans that doesn't fit anymore, some socks that I never used, a bathing suit that doesn't fit, some t-shirts that I don't wear anymore. I'm gonna donate these and hopefully make some people happy with it. These are some dress-up clothes that I bought for a party and I'm gonna put them in storage with the winter clothes as well. So yeah, we did a good job. I'm not gonna edit out Alex clothes because he likes to do that himself. Um, but I'm going to sort out between summer clothes and winter clothes so I can put some of his winter sweaters in storage and he has a little bit more space in his closet. So that's what I'm doing right now. So we're gonna use this huge suitcase that I have that we use for big trips which we won't be doing in the upcoming months and I'm gonna use it to store all my winter clothes in here. Suitcases take up a lot of space especially if you don't have an attic so it is the perfect space you can use for your winter clothes. not stomp them onto each other because then they can get damaged very soon and I use hats or stockings to fill up the tiny spaces. We have an entire storage unit under our bed at both sides in which we can store these small paraphernalia. Perfect! I kind of have a luxury problem right now because the top drawer is completely empty. I'll definitely find a use for it, but I'm gonna have to think what would be useful to put in there. 
So that was it for this organization video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am very happy with the result. I'm actually just very happy with being able to build a space like this in my amazing home. And I hope you are grateful for your space as well and you can try to get the best out of it. Use some tips and tricks you got out of this video and just get into it. Just start and the ideas and the organization skills will kick in once you start. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Lots of love!